Hi, my name is Christina Long, and I'm here with the Cougar Vision interviewing Mr. Gracie. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. First interview, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's your favorite musical or play? Oh, wow, that's a tough one. Right off the bat, going to the hard-hitting yeah, questions. Really hard um, <clears throat> I would say up until recently my most favorite musical was Wicked. However, the ART, which is the Cambridge um, portion of Harvard, has just launched a brand new musical called uh, Finding Neverland, which is going to Broadway in March. And I saw it two times this past summer, and I think it's a brilliant musical. So it eats Wicked now? It does. It kind of moved Wicked out of the number one spot. And what is that play about? It's about Jam Barry, who is the author of Peter Pan, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it talks about his life at the time when he was writing Peter Pan. There's a famous movie made of it as well with Johnny Depp playing the lead role. Johnny Depp, that's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, where did you go to school before going to college and getting your degrees and everything for like high schools and whatnot? <laughs> sure. Um, I went to two schools, actually. The first college that I went to was Bard College, which is in Upper State, New York and I was a drama dance opera major there. Um, and I was also a full-time dancer in the city, New York City at the time. Um, and then I took some time off from that. Um, I was cast in a touring company of Miss Saigon. And then um, I had a very close family member who got ill. And so I came home and um, then I finished up everything. Recently, actually, at Salem State College, I got my theater education degree as opposed to my theater performance degree. Okay. And your hometown is in Mass? It is. I grew up in Peabody, actually. Oh, Peabody. A couple of towns away. Oh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, what type of dancing did you do? I was mostly a, well, I, I trained in ballet and jazz, um, but that was a modern dance company that I worked for at the time. That's fun. Always fun. All right. And um, why did you co choose to come to Austin? Good question. Um, <laughs> let's see, I was an interim director, uh, theater teacher at Brooks, which is a couple of towns away in North Andover. And um, last year I was also the um, town of Andover, the West Middle School and the South School drama coach, which is not a full-time teaching position. What I love is teaching, that's what gets me excited. So I've been looking for a teaching job, and this one at Austin came up. And once I spoke with Miss um, Pascucci Byrne, um, I was instantly taken in. And I came and took a look at the school for my interview. And I definitely knew that this was the place I wanted to come to. And what do you think about the arts program? Do you think it was weak before you came? Or did you think you come in, like rebuild it? Or how are you planning for the come in? Sure. Uh, it's definitely in its um, gestation period. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why we're all here, everyone in the arts department. It's kind of a whole brand new apple. So um, right now I'm teaching the intro courses and our plan is to expand the curriculum for the next few years, adding a different course every year um, or two courses potentially and uh, to really get the arts flourishing here. I mean the administration has been kind enough and smart enough to realize that it's part of the core components of classes, which is why they've added the seventh class to the day. And I think um, that's a really strong commitment to the students here. Yeah, I missed the art program, so I was like, yeah, it's good to hear it's come back. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So um, how did you decide on picking Shrek for the play for the school this year? Um, well, unfortunately, I mean, I didn't know what I was coming into. I had no prior year's experience. Um, I did know the show Shrek uh, well. I think it's uh, fun. I think it's hip and modern. I think all the kids sort of uh, would rally behind it, but I wasn't sure what we had in order to fill out the roles. So uh, I was a little bit nervous, but once I got here and the auditions took place, it was definitely the right choice. It's going to be a great time. You should all come and see it. Now I heard um, there was some controversy in the plays that you were switching back and forth for a week or so, going uh -huh. between Shrek and some other plays, Shrek and some other plays, and then you finally decided on Shrek. Well, it actually wasn't our choice, unfortunately. Um, so what ends up happening with musicals or any theatrical piece is there's a rights company that owns it. So they actually own the rights and they distribute the rights and you have to get a contract from them. And so we had chosen Shrek. Um, we had auditioned for Shrek and cast Shrek. And then we put the rights request in. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and usually you do that first, but because it was a transition year, things sort of got out of sequence. When we went and asked for the rights for Shrek, um, there is another very well-known professional company in the area that will be doing it next summer. And when a professional company picks up the rights to any show, they always have right of first refusal, whether it's an amateur production or a school. And so they immediately came back and told us that we couldn't do it because of that. Um, and so for about 24 hours, it was more like 48, we were scrambling to try and find something else that might be appropriate and fun for the students to do. But I think once you announce something and people get excited about something, it doesn't really matter what the second choice is because it's always the second choice. So um, we did our best as a department to really fight for Shrek. Mm -hmm. And we went back to the company and we, um, we said, you know, we really, this, this is where we need to be and what we need to do, so can you help us out in any way? And so they went to this well-known company, locally, and said, you know, this is when they're doing it, will you, will you consider allowing them to? And the company said yes, and so then we were able to proceed, That's which good. was exciting. Yeah, I'm excited to see it's a childhood movie, so that'd be always fun. Yeah. Um, Let's see, lots of questions. Um, so what do you do in your free time when you're not teaching here? <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, when I'm not teaching here, I own a theater company as well. Oh, where's that? It's in North Andover. It's called the ACT Theater Company. Um, and when I'm not here full-time, I'm there full-time. So I actually have two full-time jobs. Uh, we do about 12 productions a year. Um, half of them are students or, or kids. And the other half are either adults or mixed sort of family friendly shows. Mm -hmm. um, we have just built our own theater in North Andover and we are opening this coming weekend. Tomorrow actually is our opening night. That's great. Um, so we're really excited about that and we finally got everything done. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Now when you're choosing the roles and everything, how do you choose the student to be each role? Is it like this kid's like, oh this kind of kid kind of acts like Shrek, he's kind of gross and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> or do you pick it based on like they can sing the parts as well or how they look, how do you go about that? It's a process of a lot of different things. Um, some of it is subjective, do they look the part? Um, but for me, it's based on talent, purely on talent. So can they sing it? That's my number one go-to point. Do they have all the notes? Do they have the range? Once we know that somebody has the range, then we usually do a reading audition, which is we give them parts from the script and we ask them to read the dialogue opposite other people to see kind of who clicks. And then finally, especially in a musical, there's a dance portion to the audition. So we see who can move it and who can um, just get down and have a good time. So. <laughs> All, right. All right, well, thank you very much for letting us interview you. Sure, thank and you. I'm Christina from Austin Cougar Vision, and have a good one.